Question 15.13 Questioner, you previously gave us information on what we should do in balancing. Is there any publishable information you can give us now about particular exercises or methods of balancing these energy centers? Answer, I am Ra. The exercises given for publication seen in comparison with the material now given are in total a good beginning. It is important to allow each seeker to enlighten itself rather than for any messenger to attempt in language to teach learn for the entity thus. Being teach learner and learn teacher. This is not in balance with your third density. We learn from you. We teach to you. Thus we teach learn. If we learned for you, this would cause imbalance in the direction of the distortion of free will. They are other items of information. Allowable. However, you have not yet reached these items in your line of questioning and it is our belief feeling complex that the questioner shall shape this material in such a way that your mind, body, spirit complexes shall have entry to it, thus we answer your queries as they arise into your mind complex. Question 15.14 Questioner, yesterday you stated that, the harvest is now. There is not at this time any reason to include efforts along this line of longevity, but rather to encourage efforts to seek the heart of self. This which resides clearly in the violet ray energy field will determine the harvest to the mind, body, spirit complex. Could you tell us the best way to seek the heart of self? Answer, I am Ra. We have given you this information in several wordings. However, we can only say the material for your understanding is the self, the mind, body, spirit complex. You have been given information upon healing, as you call this distortion. This information may be seen in a more general context as ways to understand the self. The understanding, experiencing, accepting, and merging of self with self and other self, and finally with the Creator, is the path to the heart of self. In each infinitesimal part of yourself resides the one in all of its power. Therefore, we can only encourage these lines of contemplation or prayer as a means of subjectively objectively using or combining various understandings to enhance the seeking process. Without such a method of reversing the analytical process, one could not integrate into unity the many understandings gained in such seeking. Question 15.15 Questioner I don't mean to ask the same question twice, but there are some areas that I consider so important that possibly a greater understanding may be obtained if the answer is restated a number of times in other words. I thank you for your patience. Yesterday, you also mentioned that when there was no harvest at the end of the last 25,000 year period, there were harvestable entities who shall choose the manner of their entrance into the fourth density. Could you tell me what you mean by, they shall choose? the manner of their entry into the fourth density? Answer, I am Ra. These shepherds, or, as some have called them, the, elders, shall choose the time-space of their leaving. They are unlikely to leave until their other selves are harvestable also. Question 15.16 Questioner, what do you mean by their, other selves, being harvestable? Answer, I am Ra. The other selves with whom these beings are concerned are those which did not attain harvest during the second major cycle. Question 15.17 Questioner, could you tell me just a small amount of the history of what you call the Elderus? Answer, I am Ra. The question is unclear. Please restate. Question 15.18 Questioner, I asked this question because I have heard of the Elderus before in a book, Road in the Sky, by George Hunt Williamson, and I was wondering if this Elderus was the same that he talked about? Answer, I am Ra. The question now resolves itself, for we have spoken previously of the manner of decision making which caused these entities to remain here upon the closing of the second major cycle of your current master cycle. There are some distortions in the descriptions of the one known as Myco. However, these distortions have to do primarily with the fact that these entities are not a social memory complex, but rather a group of mind, body, spirit complexes dedicated to service. These entities work together, but are not completely unified. Thus, they do not completely see each the other's thoughts, feelings, and motives. However, their desire to serve is the fourth dimensional type of desire, thus molding them into what you may call a brotherhood. Question 15.19 
Questioner, why do you call them the Elderess? Answer, I am Ra. We called them thusly to acquaint you, the Questioner, with their identity as is understood by your mind complex distortion. Question 15.20. Questioner, are there any wanderers with this Elderess? Answer, I am Ra. These are planetary entities harvested, wanderers only in the sense that they chose in fourth density love, to immediately reincarnate in third density rather than proceeding towards fourth density. This causes them to be wanderers of a type, wanderers, who have never left the earth plane because of their free will rather than because of their vibrational level. Question 15.21 Questioner, in yesterday's material you mentioned that the first distortion was the distortion of free will. Is there a sequence, a first, second, and third distortion of the law of one? Answer, I am Ra. Only up to a very short point. After this point, the manyness of distortions are equal one to another. The first distortion, free will, finds focus. This is the second distortion known to you as Logos, the creative principle of love. This intelligent energy thus creates a distortion known as light. From these three distortions come many, many hierarchies of distortions, each having its own paradoxes to be synthesized, no one being more important than another. Question 15.22 Questioner, you also said that you offered the law of one which is the balancing of love light with light love. Is there any difference between light love and love light? Answer, I am Ra. This will be the final question of this time space. There is the same difference between love light and light love as there is between teach learning and learn teaching. Love light is the enabler, the power, the energy giver. Light love is the manifestation which occurs when light has been impressed with love. Question 15.23 Questioner, is there anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Can we have two sessions today? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument requires a certain amount of manipulation of the physical or body complex due to a stiffness. Other than this, all is well, the energy is being balanced. There is a slight distortion in the mental energy of this instrument due to concern for a loved one, as you call it. This is only slightly lowering the vital energies of the instrument. Given a manipulation, this instrument will be well for another working. Question 15.24 Questioner, by manipulation, do you mean that she should go for a walk or that we should rub her back? Answer, I am Ra. We meant the latter. The understanding must be added that this manipulation be done by one in harmony with the entity. Question 15.25 Questioner, is it possible, since we are wanderers, for you to tell us anything about which our last density was, which density we came from? Ra, I scan each and find it acceptable to share this information. The wanderers in this working are of two densities, one the density of five, that is, of light, one the density of love light, or unity. To express the identity of which came from which density, we observe this to be an infringement upon the free will of each. Therefore, we state simply the two densities, both of which are harmoniously oriented towards work together. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.